What is up everyone? I am Timothy Santana here with uh, uh, with this video. Now today we're going to be talking about Apple's new um, announcement uh, for the iMac Pro. It's looking pretty sick. Now, honestly and personally speaking, um, Apple hasn't really been able to turn my head all that much. Um, I feel like, I don't know, there was a magic. There was a magic to Apple, you know, and they were such a, such a leading force, such pioneers, you know, in the technology world. Um, and I feel like ever since Steve Jobs passed away, um, it lost, lost a little bit of that magic. But, um, yeah, so I haven't, I haven't really turned my head, you know, in the past couple of years in terms of technology. But, um, but the new iMac Pro, the new iMac Pro gives hope. It gives hope. Now, it's pretty cool. Um, first, we'll start off with the, uh, with the space gray. Space gray. It looks phenomenal. I mean, it's eye candy for the tech lover. Eye candy. I mean, th that in the morning uh, with, with, with a cup of coffee, or if you're a tea lover, tea. The best part of waking up. Is a space gray iMac. Now the specs, specs are pretty fantastic, pretty phenomenal. Now um, it's starting at a baseline again. This is going to be um, uh, well, I don't know again, but uh, in case I didn't mention, the release date is December of 2017 this year. If it's not 2017 anymore, then uh, hello from the past. But anyways, um, as far as the specs, we're talking about um, a price of start, starting at a price point of five thousand dollars. So that's a four with a bunch of nines. So if you happen to have like five Gs or more sitting around, then yeah, go ahead. You know, treat yourself. Now for the five thousand dollar price point, um, starting price point, you're gonna get one terabyte of SSD storage. You're gonna have um, the baseline is thirty two gigabytes of um, memory. And then you've got a eight core processor, and AMD is releasing their brand new um, in December with the iMac Pro. They're releasing their new uh, Radeon Pro Vega. Now AMD is going to have two um, different Pro Vegas. Um, one is going to be the 64, and the other one's going to be the 56. So I'm guessing the 56, being the l the lower one, is. Uh, probably going to be at the starting point baseline graphics card both are phenomenal by the way both are phenomenal the, the, the specs look nice for the more expensive one if uh, I don't even want to know what kind of godly price that's going to be yeah that's, that's it's it's it, if $5,000 is the starting price point um, yeah my right butt cheek is going to be burning for the uh, for the beast mode version um, so if you decide to hit that beast mode button um, in the Apple store you're going to get Four terabytes of SSD. Now I don't know if that's going to be uh, one SSD of four terabytes or uh, two two terabyte SSDs. Um, it'd be cool if it was the two. Uh, be really cool. And uh, you're going to get 128 gigabytes gigabytes of memory. You're going to have 18 core processor. An 18 core processor. And, uh, and of course, you're gonna have uh, probably probably the bigger one, the 64 version of uh, AMD's Radeon uh, Pro Vega. Yeah. So I mean, either way you slice it, I mean, there's nothing to complain about really. Uh, the price point's pretty up there, but I mean, it's it, it's a pro. It's a pro uh, for for what they're offering. And prices are gonna go down. I mean, I remember when terabytes first came out, um, terabyte hard drives, and uh, those were like. Three to five hundred dollars just to get your hands on one terabyte. I mean, now you can get like four terabytes for under two hundred bucks. So, uh, yeah, that's inevitable. So, if your daddy's name is Daddy Warbucks, then uh, go ahead, get it, enjoy it. Let me know how it is. Um, but for the rest of us, I think uh, saving and uh, waiting is going to be our best bet. But um, it's going to be real nice. I'll be walking into an Apple store when that thing drops just to uh, have a little fun with it and just. Uh, Look at those specs. Dream. Now, I'm not pro Apple or pro PC or anti either or. Um, I have both. And uh, it's all personal preference, honestly, um, which I have none. Whatever floats your boat, whatever gets your work done, do that. Um, I have no personal preference. PC, Mac, I have them both. Um, yeah, they're all great. So that's a pretty great announcement uh, from Apple's end. And, uh, uh, I think it's a big leap, a big leap forward um, compared to the baby steps I feel like they've been taking. Even with the with the, um, the HomePod that they've been really advertising the crap out of, um, I think, I don't know, like with, with everything that Amazon's been doing and stuff like that, like, you know, it's, it feels like it kind of been there, done that, just, you know, upgrading some stuff. 
um, sort of making their own version of it. I don't know. I'm not, like, super stoked and excited and stuff. Uh, but, I mean, who knows? Um, but this, but this, this iMac Pro, this iMac Pro, I think that's a pretty big leap. A pretty big leap for, for Apple. And uh, I'm excited to see what they have to offer next year. Next year, they're supposed to be, I, I believe, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, um, that they're supposed to be either announcing or releasing the upgraded or facelift version of the, uh, the Mac Pro. And so uh, hopefully the specs on that, hopefully the specs on that, and the, if it's a new design or not, uh, but hopefully whatever they decide to do, that it's going to be pretty phenomenal. Now, the, now with the new release of the iMac Pro, you know, as slim as it is, um, it, it gives hope. It gives a great hope. So, so I'm pretty excited. Also, the iMac Pro is featuring a 5K display. So it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. A 5K retina display beautiful. I think that's about it. That's, that's, that's about all I can remember. Um, if I missed anything, drop it in the comments below. Be sure to like if this, you found this helpful, useful in any way, shape, or form. Feel free to share it because sharing is caring. Uh, if you didn't like this video and this video kind of sucked and kind of made no point, uh, you can hit that dislike too. It's not going to hurt my feelings too much. Um, also, feel free to subscribe. Get more videos. Um, I know I haven't posted in a little, little while. I'll be explaining that in another video. Um, been kind of busy, but uh, hopefully, uh, you know, keeping keeping a little more on track, a little more on track. Uh, you start to understand why and see more as we go along in this adventure of life. So, I am Timothy Santana, once again, and I will see you next time.